What's up, low heat sneakerheads? I have a very, I don't know, this might be the pair of Yeezys that I have the most to say about. I don't know if that's the most excited I've been to open a pair of Yeezys. Um, I still have my feelings about Kanye, etc. Uh, I've talked about in past videos. Don't really mess with him anymore. But out of all the Yeezys uh, that I've got and opened, it might be the most uh, interested in these or have the most to say about these. So excited to open these more than typical, typically with a pair of Adidas Yeezys and uh, very, very interested to see what these are like. So that is good because usually I get a pair and it's a new colorway, new slide, new foam runner, whatever. I feel obligated to get some value out of receiving them, make a video, show those who might be interested in what they look like, um, that. But I don't have too much um, to say about them because I, I might be flipping them. I, they might not be my cup of tea. Uh, I think Kanye has done some very interesting, and Stephen Smith and everyone who works at Yeezy has done some interesting things with silhouettes, uh, etc., and fashion. But a lot of that's already been said. Um, so with these, uh, I have thoughts on these and um, yeah. Anyways, let's get into it. Today we have the Yeezy 700 V3 uh, size 12 in the carbon fade, fade carbon colorway. Um, these retail for, I think for like 200, 210. And then with taxes and everything came out to like, I think 220, 230. So typical of Yeezys, uh, fairly pricey, fairly pricey retail. I'm not going to be able to flip these. These are going for exactly retail or a little under, you know, right around retail. So uh, I might be stuck with these. So I always get my size. I really just spent 200 plus dollars to do a video on these. So if you could do me a favor, uh, subscribe, use your thumb, use your pointer finger, whatever. Uh, it costs you nothing. It costs me 230 bucks. Uh, I would appreciate that. So let's see these. Very curious. Very curious. Multiple. Don't click away once you see them. Multiple thoughts on these, both the silhouette and the colorway. Because the colorway has been a trend as of late. And I think some people deserve some credit for that trend that might not be getting enough credit. Whew. All right. Look at the. Man. I have yet, if you watch all my Yeezy unboxing videos, I don't know why you would, but if you do, I appreciate it. If you watch all my Yeezy unboxing videos, there's been plenty that I've liked, plenty of colorways, plenty of silhouettes that I've liked, and I've like teased, dabbled, like this is the pair that I keep. This is the pair that I wear. I have yet to wear a pair of Yeezys. I've flipped all, I've been stuck with, I think the Yeezy 450 resins, the little dumpling ones, because those don't resell, might wear those eventually. And I've kept my Zebra 350 V2s. Uh, can flip those, but they're kind of like the Jordan 1s of Yeezy. I kind of want to just keep them in my collection. I, I sold the Frozen 350 V2s, even though I really like those. Um, these might be I might be stuck with because they're not reselling. I've passed the window of returning them. But I might keep them because I, I really like these. So first of all, the silhouette. Every time I am walking in a mall, whatever... And the sales clerk, whoever, wherever, wherever I'm out, not just the mall, but wherever I'm out, someone has these on. These always catch my eye. Whether it's girl, guy, the blue colorway, the cornflower maze colorway, these always catch my eye. They always look dope. So first, the, the, the silhouette, oops, I got excited there. The model, I'm a little coffee jittery. The model, the silhouette itself, I think is dope. And I got to give credit to the team, Kanye and the team, because... It is hard nowadays to make a silhouette that's very different than everything out there, yet um, is fire. You can easily make stuff that's unique. You can, you know, put, I don't, I don't know, you can put a giant sphere on the toe box. I don't know. You can make wild Rick Owens type, you know, high heels. You can do unique stuff. That's easy to do. But to make unique stuff that also looks good, that's hard to do. Now, I think... Kanye, to his credit, I mean, to his credit, has made this silhouette a little bit more palatable. Um, 
they've really gone in on this this shape in the different models easy models so uh, it started off being unique now it's not as unique because they've 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 done iterations of this and these are cool people like them people have grown accustomed to them so it's it's um more it doesn't hit the eye weird that it's a new silhouette but when these came out initially i think they looked a little different and odd but they immediately i think wear well on the on foot so again props to the design team making something new that looks fire um so that I want to put out there first. But then the colorway is the next thing I want to talk about. I really like it. I like this uh, this this fade of fuchsia, purple, whatever you want to call it, reddish pink in there. There's hues of various colors to carbon gray. But this has been a, a trend recently, and I think it was started by Lorenz OG. He's, uh, he's on Instagram. If you don't know, I think... A good portion of people watching this video might know who he is and his work. If you don't know of Lorenz OG, check out his Instagram, check out his work. He has kind of um, started and perfected like the dip dyeing fade and transitions, this ombre style. And it's grown in popularity such that, you know, big celebrities, rappers, sneakerheads have bought his customs. Joe LaPuma on the Complex, um, you know, podcast and, and other outlets has been a big fan and has been talking about him. So his popularity and recognition has grown. His, and that being said, with that popularity, with the spread of social media, big brands have taken notice and, and you know, kind of copied his, um, his style. And this... This thing that he's created, this this aesthetic that he has made popular, and <laughs> the great irony is, uh, well, maybe it's not ironic. Uh, you know, Virgil was in contact. Virgil Abloh um, had reached out and talked with him, and uh, they together kind of came up with the the air quotes patented color schemes. <laughs> and what's funny is it's not patented, and so big brands like Nike adidas others have have taken it but at the same time if you know you know uh if you i hate to hate, use corny phrases but if you're in at the instagram sneaker culture at all you know of lorenzo g so even though they've taken from him hopefully um people know where it started uh so even though it isn't patented it uh hopefully most people give him the credit for starting this and um, him and uh, Chef Huel, if you know of, uh, I think it's Huel, Chef Huel, it's very similar aesthetic, does some really cool dyeing techniques. And you see it all over Instagram. There's been, what, the Air Force One, there's a dip dye Air Force One that's blue now, out coming out now. There's this. There, there's so many now. Um, jackets, you see, because uh, Lorenz has done jackets and things like that that are of this colorway. Oh, not this colorway, I should say. This style of dip dyeing portions of a shoe or uh, clothes. So let's try these on, see how they look on foot. Just wanted to give him credit, Chef Fuel credit, some of these sneaker customizers credit, because um, they're really artists, uh, actually. And you can see the proof is that big brands have been adopting their style. And, uh, you know, that's both dope it's a credit to them, and I hope the you know they don't feel like it's just purely stolen work. I hope they feel good about it, but at the same time, it's a little bit stolen work. <laughs> They're not getting a paycheck. They're not being consulted or paid, or given credit. Uh, none of that. So, anyways, check out their Instagrams. I got on foot today. The National Parks collab with Adidas. These Joshua Tree ones. I wore these a ton in Stockholm. And these are great. I love these. Uh, I got a lot of compliments on them from non-sneakerheads. Just, it's a great shoe. And kind of has, there's no, there's no transition, but has the vibes of a lot of Chef Huel and Lorenzo G's work. Uh, the toe box does scuff a bit, uh, but I love these. I think I did an unboxing video of these. But these are great. Uh, some of my best favorite low heat are these. Uh... I should have maybe got, got two pairs. Uh, they're definitely were affordable. I think they were on sale at one point. 
So I didn't wear high socks with these because I wanted to see what they looked like with ankle socks on. I think these <laughs> appropriate colors, I think these are just like Gap, J. Crew or something. Uh, but I wanted to see what these looked like without high socks on. And let's see that. But yeah, I'm, I went size half size up as they recommend you to do in most, um, most easy stuff. I think I might have to... These look small, no? These are our size 12, right? Yeah, size 12, but these look, I don't know, they look small. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to pause this to get these in my feet without. All right, I had to put these on off camera because they were difficult to get on, at least for me. I got a giant foot. Um, these were hard to get on. <laughs> that being said, I got size 12, I'm 11 and a half normally size 12 more and more these days I feel like I'm size 12 but um really difficult to get on you need like a like a shoehorn or something I don't know but I struggled that being said uh they fit now that they're on plenty of toe room they're not too tight I would recommend going half size up for sure I would not go um true to size um but so once I got them in these feel good uh, just really difficult getting in in the shoe. I hope this gets easier with time. This stretches a little bit. It's all just you know synthetic nylon. Um, so I don't know if these will break in in the opening there. But first impressions, I think these are dope. I think these are going to be comfortable. I think um, these are definitely a great summer shoe. Uh, you know. Uh, almost athletic you know I think there's versions of these that are a basketball shoe but I don't think these are runners or anything but these I could definitely see walking in throughout the day in summer feeling great these may be the first Yeezys that I wear out in public um, I think these will go with a lot of different things um, I would go more monochromatic gray uh, black white maybe not so much earth tones with what you're wearing but for the most part I think oh, is this tan I think this is more gray it's more gray all around so that's that's what I would keep it with uh, blues I think would go well with this and uh, versions of pink or purple would go well even some oranges maybe like this you know but that's how I would style it put on some uh, you know fear of God shorts and uh you're good to go i really like these let's give these a rating hmm man these these aren't a nine for me do these make an eight i'm gonna go like the highest seven i can go i'm gonna go 7.9 i think the, the color scheme is great i i i'm a little upset again that this is being like taken stolen without credit to some of these sneaker customizers that are big on Instagram and that big brands like this are just taking fads that were created by individual artists and creators. But, so that's what's keeping it from an eight for me. Um, not that not that Lorenz and Chef Huel were the first ever to do like dip dyeing or ombreing, but they've definitely made popularized it recently through social media. Um, so yeah. I'm going to give these a 7.9. I will say from top down, these don't look as good as if you're viewing these on some other people. You know how some shoes look really good just like top down uh, and other shoes don't look good top down? I will say these are one of those shoes where like I'm looking at them. They don't look as good as when I look at them on other people. So hoping that stays true and that if people see me with these on they're like oh that's a dope that's a dope shoe anyways also too um not too many yeezys have the adidas branding on them that's interesting i think that's because these stem from being like the basketball model correct me if i'm wrong i might be totally off base on this uh but that's interesting how these have um the adidas signature um not not like very prominent but it's definitely on there so i find that interesting and like in like in pictures, these look like a big bulky chunky shoe, but like in hand, remember I was saying like, is this even a size 12? They almost feel small. Um, so that's interesting to me. A little optical illusion there. Maybe because these are darker. 
So uh, I've only talked about a lot of different things, but I haven't shown you everything. Here's the here's the the outsole in case I didn't show it off. Um, also, there's 3M hits on the inside here, and it has the non uh, lacing system or the laceless. No, there are laces, so it's not laceless, but the the tied non tying system of shoe. So. There you have it. Those are the final details. It's a little rubbery here. This is definitely like a, a durable rubber right there. Um, and yeah, so those are the main things. This is a see-through-ish mesh too, right here at the bottom of the side panel. Uh, the top is more opaque. So there's the details. Forgot to point out. Apologize, but I got to it. So, so if you stuck around, you were rewarded. There you go. Thanks for watching. All right, one last thing, one final point. I would say, um, as I was mentioning with the silhouette, that this is, you know, a a, a unique, new, but pretty fire uh, silhouette, which is hard to do. I will say, if this was under a different brand like Reebok or Puma, or I don't know Solomon or something, uh, I don't think it would be quite as big a hit. I'm not saying this is a huge hit, but it, it's successful and people buy these. Um, I think, I do think it would be conversation worthy. If this was a brand that was completely unknown, I think it's still worth noting and people might take note on it, but it'd be a blog post and then gone. Uh, so I, I, I do think obviously the Yeezy and Adidas brand bring some clout to, and legitimacy to a new, new looking piece of footwear. Whereas if it, if they weren't part of this, you know, it might go... I think it would fall off the news trail pretty quick. But it wouldn't go unnoticed though. I'll give it credit for that. It would not go unnoticed. This 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 would raise a few eyebrows, I think.